Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. In Yahweh's name I pray, Lord, amen. Okay, y'all, so I'm so glad y'all decided to join me for another video. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, my beloved kings and queens. So today I'm gonna show y'all pretty much how to make a uh, something simple, a piece of lock jewelry, something really, really simple. And we're gonna be using some tiger's eye, okay? and some chain. Now I haven't decided on what I'm gonna do with the chain, but I pretty much have decided what I'm gonna do with it. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna need some tiger's eye. This tiger's eye is not drilled. You can find this, this tiger's eye at, you can find this tiger's eye at amazon.com. Okay, so some tiger's eye, you're gonna need, um, you know, we're, we're not gonna be using both pieces, but this is some 16 gauge copper wire and it's about 10 inches, 10 and a half inches long. You're going to need a dowel, two pieces of um, wire. I mean, two pieces, okay, let me slow it down. Two pieces of chain, okay? Now this chain, I, I, uh, I'm using this chain from my bargain bead box, my maze bargain beads bo bead box, okay? And you're gonna need your, I'm, I'm using my three-in-one pliers, but I'm also gonna, I may be using my Reynolds pliers and my wire cutters. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now, let me see how we're going to do this. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the body of my tiger's eye, okay? And I'm only gonna make one, but I just wanted y'all to see what I was doing. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and start wrapping it doing some spirals, okay? Well, I'm hoping that I'm in. I hope y'all saw what I was doing. And then I'm just going to do this and start rolling this up just like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take my finger and start rolling it up just like this. Okay. All right, now once you get here, let me straighten this out. I don't know how this got curved. Okay. And did I mention y'all that this was um, 16 gauge uh, copper wire, 10 and a half inches? Just making sure I'm giving y'all the, the right instructions. So then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers. Once you roll it up like this, you're gonna come and just push this down. Okay. Because this is where you're gonna place your piece. And then you're gonna place this right down in there like that. It's not it's not drill, okay? It doesn't have to be. And then you want to take and just squeeze it in a tad bit and then start wrapping it just like this up at the top because it's in there and it's not going anywhere, okay? And not only that, but it's going to look really cute on your braids or your locks, whichever one that you're going to be wearing this on. And you wanna just keep rolling it. Just like this. All right, and this is what you're gonna have, y'all. And this is neat, cause it's in there. It's not coming out. It's wrapped nice and secure. And the thing that I do like about 16 gauge copper wire is that it has a thickness to it 
that once it's in there and it's stiff, see, it's, this is not coming out. If you drop it on the floor, look, it's not going to come out, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to take this and tuck it down in here. But before I tuck it, I'm going to take a piece of my chain, slide it on just like this. Yep, slide it on and then I'm gonna tuck it down just like that that's tucked down right down in there all right and look at this this is gorgeous this is gonna be a really pretty piece of um, now you don't have to have that that long if you don't want to you don't have to and then what you're going to do next is you're going to just take this piece and I'm going to make a loop down the bottom just like this and I'm going to take my dowel and come over here and place it on my dowel and then start wrapping it so you want to make sure that you get a that you have a dowel that will pretty much fit your locks okay all right and I'm going to stop right here see that this is my connector, y'all. And then I'm gonna slide this off and I'm gonna come here and just straighten this out a tad bit. I'm gonna come down the bottom here and snip this off just like that. And then I'm gonna make a loop, but when I make my loop, I'm going to attach it just like this, boom. How awesome is that? And you got yourself a really cute uh, copper wire um, piece of hair, jewelry lock, piece of hair lock. And this you can wear, this jewelry, this you can wear up at the top of your lock. You can wear it down the bottom of your lock. You can wear it hanging down from the bottom of your lock. You can make it really, really stylish. And let me show you, I'm gonna use this pipe cleaner to show y'all how it actually goes onto the lock. So this, say, say this is your lock, right? And all you do is you take your lock and you pull it right down in there like that. And that's how it's going to be on your lock. Okay? It's nice, it's long, and it is very, very stylish. And you can do this, if even if you wanted to, you could also, you could also do, you could you could also make your own chain. Sorry, y'all. I was thinking about something. You could also make your own chain links. Okay, you can make your own chain links, and and do this. Okay, and you slide your hair on there, and look how look how cute that is. That's really cute. It's different. It's sophisticated, and you got your your tiger's eye in there promotes promotes healing all that good stuff so you got all that going on and there you have it it's really cute really cute really different and it is definitely something unique okay so thank y'all for joining me for this here uh, video really fast really quick really simple and if you don't want to use all this chain you don't have to you can actually make it shorter if you want but of course y'all know i had to be extra <laughs> so here it is y'all so with that being said please make sure once again you thumbs up this video so that this video can go into rotation and thank you to my new supporters and my loyal supporters y'all have a wonderful and awesome day until my next upload Peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.